Procurement 101. What is it and why should we care? We all buy things. It could be groceries, a new phone, or even a house. But it's not just individuals who need to purchase items. Businesses and governments buy things too, lots of things, from office supplies to large-scale infrastructure projects. This is where procurement comes in. It's a critical function in both the public and private sectors. Procurement is just a fancy word for the process of buying goods and services. Why is this important? Because it involves a lot of money and resources. When governments spend money, they're spending your money, taxpayer money. This makes procurement a matter of public interest. Procurement makes sure that money is spent fairly and efficiently. It ensures transparency and accountability. No one wants their tax dollars wasted. Mismanagement can lead to public outrage and loss of trust. That's why understanding procurement matters. It affects everyone, directly or indirectly. Now let's talk about a specific type of procurement, Dogrudan Temin. This is a unique process used in Turkey. This Turkish term translates to direct procurement. It's a streamlined method. In a nutshell, it means a government body can buy something directly from a supplier without a lengthy tender process. Sounds simple, right? But there's more to it. Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to dive deep into this thing. Stay tuned as we explore the intricacies and implications of Dogrudan Temin. Direct procurement announcements. A first look at Dogrudan Temin. Dogrudan Temin allows for a more direct approach to buying. It's like going to the corner store for a gallon of milk instead of ordering it online and waiting three days. But just like you wouldn't buy a car from the corner store, there are limits to what can be purchased through Dogrudan Temin. This method is typically used for goods or services that are urgently needed, available from a single source, or relatively low value. This brings us to the scope of Dogrudan Temin. Think of it like a fence around what you can buy. Streamlining procurement can save time and resources, cut through red tape, and allow for faster responses to urgent needs. The rules of the game, regulations and exceptions in Dogrud and Temin. Like any good game, Dogrud and Temin has rules. These are set by the government to prevent misuse and ensure fairness. These regulations outline things like the maximum value of goods and services that can be procured directly, the situations where it's allowed, and the documentation required. Think of it like the rule book for a board game, except breaking these rules could have real-world consequences. Of course, no rule book is complete without exceptions. There are certain situations where the usual rules of Dogrud and Temin might be bent or bypassed. This could be due to emergencies, national security concerns, or the unique nature of the goods or services being procured. Disagreements about the scope are typically resolved through legal frameworks and established appeal processes within the governing procurement regulations. Players on the field, who's who in Dogrudan Temin? Let's dive into the key players involved in this intricate process. In the game of Dogrudan Temin, we have a few key players who each play a crucial role in ensuring the process runs smoothly. On one side, we have the procuring entity which is essentially the government body that needs to buy something. This is the government body that needs to buy something, whether it's goods, services, or even infrastructure. They could be a ministry, a local municipality, or even a school. These entities have specific needs that must be met. On the other side, we have the supplier, the company, or individual providing the goods or services required. This is the company or individual providing the goods or services. They could range from a small business owner to a large corporation. They could be anything from a stationary store to a construction firm or even a specialized service provider. But wait, there's more. We also have oversight bodies and regulatory authorities who play a vital role in the process. Think of them as the referees making sure everyone is playing fair and by the rules. They ensure that the process is transparent and fair. They monitor the process, investigate complaints and ensure transparency and accountability. Their role is crucial for maintaining integrity. Key players include the procuring entity, the supplier oversight bodies, regulatory authorities and sometimes legal professionals and auditors. Each of these players has a specific role to ensure the success and fairness of Dogrudan Temin. Transparency and accountability are crucial for any procurement process, but they're especially important for Dogrud and Temin. Because this method bypasses the competitive bidding process, there's a higher risk of corruption or favoritism. To mitigate this, clear guidelines on documentation, record-keeping, 
and public access to information are essential. Think of it like this. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. By shining a light on the process and making information public, we make it harder for shady dealings to happen in the shadows. This builds trust in the system and ensures that taxpayer money is being used responsibly. Dog rootin' to mean, like any procurement process, has its pros and cons. One of the biggest advantages is speed. Because it bypasses the lengthy tendering process, it allows government bodies to procure goods and services much faster. This can be crucial in emergency situations or when dealing with time-sensitive projects. Another advantage is simplicity. The process is generally less bureaucratic and less paperwork intensive than traditional tendering. This can be particularly beneficial for smaller procurements or when dealing with straightforward purchases. Finally, Dogru Dantemin can sometimes lead to cost savings. Bypassing the tendering process can reduce administrative costs and potentially lead to better prices, especially if the procuring entity has a strong existing relationship with the supplier. While Dogrudin Timin offers advantages, it also presents potential risks. One major concern is the lack of competition. Without a competitive bidding process, there's a risk that the procuring entity might not be getting the best possible price or quality. This can lead to inefficient use of public funds and potential overspending. Another risk is the potential for corruption and favoritism. Without the transparency of a competitive process, there's a higher chance that contracts might be awarded based on personal connections or unethical practices. This can erode public trust and undermine the integrity of the procurement system. Hash Hash Case Study, a real-world example of Dogrud and Temin in action. Let's bring Dogrud and Temin to life with a hypothetical yet plausible example. Imagine a small town in a rural area. A sudden storm severely damages the roof of the local school, making it unsafe for students. Repairs are urgently needed so that classes can resume. In this situation, the local authorities might opt for Dogrudan Temin to contract a local construction company for the repairs. The urgency of the situation, coupled with the limited number of qualified contractors in the area, makes direct procurement a practical and efficient solution. This example highlights how Dogrudan Temin can be a valuable tool in specific contexts. However, it's crucial to remember that such cases should be the exception, not the rule, and strict adherence to regulations and ethical considerations is paramount. Hash Hash Comparing Approaches Dogrudan Temin versus Traditional Procurement So, how does Dogrudan Temin stack up against traditional procurement methods? Well, it's not about declaring a winner. It's about choosing the right tool for the job. Traditional procurement, with its open tenders and competitive bidding, is generally considered the gold standard for transparency and fairness. It ensures a level playing field for suppliers and promotes competition, which can lead to better value for money. However, as we've seen, there are situations where the urgency, specialized nature, or limited market availability might make traditional procurement impractical or inefficient. That's where Dogrud and Temin comes in, offering a more direct and potentially faster route. Hash hash the future of procurement, where does Dogrud and Temin fit in? The world of procurement is constantly evolving, adapting to new challenges and opportunities. Technological advancements, changing regulations, and the increasing demand for transparency are shaping the future of how governments and organizations buy goods and services. These factors are driving a transformation in procurement processes. So, where does Dogrudan Temin fit into this evolving landscape? How can it adapt to meet these new demands? One thing is for sure, the need for agile and efficient procurement methods isn't going away. In fact, it's becoming more critical than ever. Dogrudan Temin, with its potential for speed and simplicity, could play a significant role in this future, especially as digital tools offer new ways to enhance transparency and accountability even within a direct procurement process. These tools can streamline operations and reduce bottlenecks. However, striking the right balance between efficiency and accountability will be crucial. It's not just about speed, it's about doing things right. Clear guidelines, robust oversight mechanisms, and a commitment to ethical practices will be essential to ensure that Dogrudan Temin continues to serve the best interests of the public. This will help maintain trust and integrity in the procurement process. Hash Hash Conclusion Wrapping it up and opening the floor for discussion. 
We've covered a lot of ground here, folks. We've explored the ins and outs of Dogrudan Temen, from its basic definition to its potential advantages and risks. We've looked at the rules, the players, and the importance of transparency and accountability. We've even peeked into the future of procurement and pondered where Dogrudan Temen might fit in. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The world of procurement is vast and complex, and there's always more to learn. So, here's where you come in. What are your thoughts on Dogrudan Temen? Have you encountered any examples of it in your own experiences? Share your views, insights, and questions in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation.